Herman Cain died from coronavirus. He was one of the individuals who attended Trump's Tulsa, Oklahoma rally, where he almost certainly contracted the virus since it was a large crowd. No one was, you know, wearing masks around him. He shared a photo, you know, indicating that he was having a great time, but no one with him was wearing a mask. And the big question is, does Donald Trump feel any remorse? Does the administration maybe regret some of the misinformation that they put out there in regard Regard to social distancing guidelines and masks. And here's what Maggie Haberman had to say. I'm just wondering what happened in the White House, knowing that Herman Cain went to that Tulsa rally. Is there any feeling inside the White House of responsibility, of yeah. guilt, of connection to this? This is not how the, this is not how the White House has handled it. In fact, you've seen the president say not that long ago, I think it was a few days ago, that he's known several friends who passed away from COVID and one who was was close to the end. I, I have to assume he was talking about Herman Cain. Um, the White House continues to have a very blinded view of all of this. They do not look at actions they have taken as having an impact on people getting sick, whether that's the Tulsa rally, whether it's a lack of sufficient testing across the country, whether it is the lack of a national plan to combat this. And this incident with Herman Cain, which is obviously tragic, is uh, no different. Of course, they feel no responsibility or remorse or regret. In fact, Donald Trump is actually very transparent and tells us who he is on a regular basis. And so when he tells us who he is, we should believe him. We shouldn't be shocked, we shouldn't be surprised. We shouldn't expect a different reaction from Trump, especially something like remorse or regret or the feeling of responsibility. In fact, here's some evidence of him previously saying that he doesn't consider himself responsible for anything. No, I don't take responsibility at all because we were given a, a set of circumstances and we were given rules, regulations and specifications from a different time. Now, Nando, here's what Trump had to say about Herman Cain's passing on Twitter. He said, my friend Herman Cain, a powerful voice of freedom and all that is good passed away this morning. Herman had an incredible career and was adored by everyone that ever met him, especially me. He was a very special man, an American patriot and a great friend. I just got off the phone with his amazing wife, Gloria, daughter, Melanie and son, Vincent to express my deepest condolences to the entire family. Uh, Melania and I loved Herman Cain, a great man. Herman, rest in peace. I don't take any responsibility for your death. Uh, I certainly don't take responsibility for holding that Tulsa rally that uh, essentially put the lives of many at risk. Uh, but you know, rest in peace. You know, you were a great man. You're a great man. Whatever. I don't take responsibility. The, the rot and in, in, in the sense of entitlement from the American right is so profound. Um, these days that it, it it's so beyond Trump, like it's so beyond his reaction to the pandemic. Like I am 1 million percent convinced that there would be anti-mask um, movements like uh, on TV, on you know right wingers all over the place, just refusing to wear masks out of a sense of like, you can't tell me what to do or whatever the things that they tell themselves. Um, under any other circumstances, <laughs> so, so yeah. Yeah, you know, you actually do make a really good point because um, during the pandemic in 1918, there absolutely was an anti-mask uh, portion of the country, right? Yeah. People who refused to wear masks despite the flu, despite the numbers of people uh, dying as a result of that pandemic. So uh, this has been uh, a very old problem in the United yeah. States. Uh, people who think that federal agents cracking skulls against protesters practicing their First Amendment rights, that's not considered any violation of our freedoms by right wingers. Uh, but when it comes to public safety concerns and just uh, providing a guideline, encouraging people to wear masks. Oh My God, our freedoms are being violated. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.